Now your mom always told you to hold the handrail when you're going up the stairs, but did you know that there's a design component to that as well? Look, just from using the handrail, you can see that the oil in our hands creates weathering, which gives the handrail that lived-in look that we're so crazy about. Now I know at this point you're probably thinking, boy, I'm learning a lot about mid-century interior design, home maintenance, and staging. However, you probably want to know a little bit about how to make the outside look as good as the inside, really reflect what's underneath. Well, come on out. As you can see, the driveway really has that rustic look going on that I've talked about so much. Uh, this is a really simple effect to achieve. You just basically take a hammer out to the driveway uh, and just kind of go to town. And you can see I've made a lot of progress just in one afternoon uh, with really getting it to have that sort of weathered, uh, you know, just lived in, walked on kind of look, uh, which is definitely, again, a staple of, of MCM design. Now you've probably heard the phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and also the phrase, less is more. Well, in this case, both of those phrases apply. This is something called composting. Composting has a rich, rich history that dates back to the European days. It has to do with allowing the natural soils and, and natural things in the earth build up into just this rich, rich soil. Um, now, composting does mean that you're going to have to kind of leave things alone for a while. And that's why this area around the tree, I haven't really bothered to clean it up at all. So we have this excellent rich soil that I can then transplant to somewhere else and uh, allow those fruits and vegetables and whatever else I may be growing to really flourish. When it comes to renovation or home maintenance, rule number one is cut corners whenever possible, save time and money. In this case, we had a fence that really wasn't finished. This tree was in the way and it wouldn't reach around the tree. So, a cheap and easy alternative was to use plumbing parts. And it really gives it a kind of old world feel. Uh, you can see right here where the, the plumbing parts kind of stretch outward. And of course, over here where the fence didn't quite reach, so we used a variety of materials. You know, wood boards, logs, wire. Um, just supposing materials is a staple of mid-century modern design, and as you can see, that's what this fence has going for it. Rule number two of renovation and home maintenance is au natural. As you can see, I'm watering the inside of this shed door, and um, it's starting to work at the bottom. It's, it's getting a very sort of nice, really weathered, aged look, uh, allowing the water to kind of soak into the wood, um, you know, brings that about. And of course, rule number three is risks yield results. Imagine how much tougher of a time I would have cleaning out these gutters without standing on the top step of the ladder. Now they always say not to do that, but like I said, you can't argue with results. As you can see, these gutter guards we've installed really represent the pinnacle of home maintenance. They provide easy access in the sense that they lift up so that you can reach in and take out anything that might have gotten through the barrier. They're affordable, but attractive. Now when it comes to successful gardening, one thing that's often overlooked is called hedging. This here is a hedging tool. You can remember that because of the similarity to the word hedging, because you're creating kind of an edge, but in this case, you're creating a hedge. Now when it comes to good gardening, this is one tool that you can really hedge your bets on. In review, remember that craftsman style mid-century modern, Cape Cod, and the rustic vibe really are all variations of the exact same thing. But you can kind of combine them all into one really, really, really just gorgeous design sense. Remember that pops of color, like this art glass right here, are really important focal points for any room or any space, especially when you're staging for prospective buyers. Remember that creating that lived-in look is always important, so any personal items really need to stay when you're staging. And of course, remember the three rules. Cut corners, au natural, and risks yield results.
Well, that about does it for this week's episode of HGTV's Design Sense. I'm your host, Derek Elin, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you.